Hey everyone, it is really great to have you back here today. We are going to talk about particle size. A lot of first time or soon to be chocolate makers don't seem to grasp the reason they need a melanger or a refiner. They don't really get why super fine sugar can't just be stirred into chocolate liquor. It's super fine after all. The problem here is that super fine is a qualitative assessment. What is super fine? What you need is a quantitative assessment. Basically, you need a number. It's often said that chocolate should have a particle size between 15 and 25 microns. But what does that really mean? Do you even know what a micron is? On this side of the pond, we mostly deal in inches. By definition, a micron, though, is one one thousandth of a millimeter. This is a millimeter. It's about one twenty-fifth of an inch. A micron is about 0 0.0000-3937 inches. To use a qualitative term, that's really tiny. But how tiny is it? Look at this crystal of granulated sugar. It's about 500 microns or, you know, half a millimeter. Super fine powdered sugar is about one-fifth that or 100 microns. But as you can see, I can't even show that to you. We still have to get 10 times smaller than that. What that means is it's analogy time. So let's pretend this rock is a crystal of granulated sugar. And this one is a crystal of our super fine powdered sugar. That's as fine as you can get without refining in a melanger. After about 12 hours in the melanger, the sugar crystals have refined down to about 50 microns. And your tongue, amazing as it is, still can detect that there's a little bit of grit. But you've left the crunch zone. When we're finally down to refined chocolate, we're down to about 15 microns. At this size, you don't feel it anymore in your mouth. I think it's really important to restate what we're doing here. Our goal is to make chocolate that's pleasurable to eat. If your chocolate's 500 microns, then it's not gonna be pleasurable. At 10 microns, it probably is gonna be, but is it gonna be any more so than 14 microns? Probably not. Don't get fixated on a number. You, the important part is to understand what the role of refining has in making your chocolate. At the end of the day, it's not a contest to see who can get the smallest micron count, but rather, who has thoughtfully and with care and attention made a bar using their experiences and their taste to make the chocolate bar they want. That's what we're doing here. That's what it's all about. Okay, that's it for today. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, it helps Google know that you like this video and that it's good to share. And it helps us get the word out. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you would. And that's it. Uh, let's go make chocolate, just not with super fine sugar.